Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'm playing The Road to Hades, which is a game that came out on Steam about a week ago now, and if you want to try it for yourselves, I'll leave the link to where you can buy it down below in the description. Uh, no face cam for this video, unfortunately, because if I try and record my face while recording the game, the game will crash or the computer will freeze, it seems. This game has a lot of issues, a lot of performance issues, bugs, glitches, it's really quite a trifecta. But I've actually played this before, okay, I've actually completed it. I don't know if this is going to be like a walkthrough video as such, but I'll just take you through my experience with the game. So let's get started here. Right, apologies if the video cuts out occasionally. What happens is the program sort of shuts down to show me the loading screen, and then it cuts out again and loads the level. It's kind of strange. It's not a very seamless experience. Now the basic premise of this game is that I am playing as a girl who has just died and I need to guide her down the road to Hades to the end. So there you go, it's fairly simple. Now the Steam page for this game actually says it's a horror adventure game full of Asian myths and art, which I suppose is somewhat true, but uh, it's a bit of a letdown considering what I was expecting, honestly. It's actually left click to pick that up. You can use F, but um, what the game neglects to tell you is that you've actually got two hands to grab stuff. So it's either F, left click, middle click, or right click, depending on what you want to do with whatever's in your hand. Okay, so we get the, uh, the basic controls. We can sprint a little bit. There is a bit of a stamina system. We can jump. We can crouch. Okay, so let's just have a look around here. Right, so there's a double door we need to unlock. You can see the keyhole over there. The key is actually... <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Um, I'm knocking things with the lantern that I'm holding, it seems. Yeah, the key is actually around here. You can barely fit through, it seems. There you go. Yeah, this... Um, this game has a lot of issues. I tell you what, let's, let's just start with this one. So if I go to the uh, the menu and edit settings, um, display doesn't work. Graphics does. If you want to change from like ultra to low or medium high, that works. Display, it doesn't. So let's say I wanted to go like full screen. Let's set the filter view to something ridiculous. So there's no other button to confirm settings apart from escape, it seems. I've, I've tried space, I've tried enter, but if you press escape, nothing happens. Absolutely nothing happens. I have no idea how you're actually meant to change the settings. As far as I know, none of those in that little sub-menu work. So, there's one of the problems. Uh, if we just go around here, I think the key is buried underneath that book and that butterfly. Right, so... Yeah. Let's see. Sort of knock things out of the way. Now, the grabbing mechanic in this game is a bit iffy. You can sort of see the circle where I'm, uh, I'm meant to be picking stuff up, and there you go. So it was F that time, because I'm using my right hand. Very strange. And all we need to do is just drag it back over to the door. I will admit, I don't have that many good things to say about this game, but I should say, this game was actually designed to be played with a VR headset. So, maybe, in playing it like this, I am doing it a bit of a disservice. Still, though, I mean, the game is a pretty short experience, you'll see by the length of the video, and it's like £10, so I'm expecting something like 13 14 15 dollars. Yeah, even with an Oculus Rift or a, you know, a VR headset, this isn't, you know, it's not great. It's a pretty underwhelming experience. So, if we just go up here. Yeah. A little bit creepy. <laughs> Alright. You see, there are moments like this that are pretty good, but they are few and far between, unfortunately. Bit, a little 
little bit shocking when I first played it, I suppose. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> and off she goes. Right, so it's uh, F to get rid of this, I think, or what was it? Oh, I dropped my lantern. Uh, I dropped it on the other side of the door, actually. I'll pick that up later. How do we get this open? Oh, okay. Right. So I was using the right button, I just wasn't standing in the right place. Just have to remove that tag, that seal. And there you go. Should I be alarmed that my heart's just stopped beating? Right, yeah, let's just follow the blood. There's an interesting statue ahead of us. Right. You can actually see where it's coming out of, sort of. If I turn around now, someone's following me. And I'm going to let him catch me, actually. So you get stabbed, you die. There you go, there's a clue. Steal the mask and disgrace him. So, let's give that another go. I wanted to do that for a very specific reason, because if you actually do come back here... Uh, your lantern's there, so you can pick that up again, but if you go back... Back to, uh... Back to this, over here... The door's now closed. And there you go. There's the head. <laughs> it's like a... It's a behind-the-scenes look. Right. Anyway, let's, uh, let's pick the lantern back up, and let's try not to get stabbed again. So, there you go. It's a pretty pitiful light source, honestly. But again, I think if you're, you know, if you've got a VR headset, and maybe you've got some uh, motion controllers, maybe you can move it about. Right. So, I'm going to let him get towards me, and then you have to very quickly rip the, uh, the mask off his face. Like so. There you go. Got to admit, it's a pretty neat enemy, a faceless, a sort of hollow-faced man. Anyway, he's not going to bother us anymore. And we have another double door with another lock. <laughs> so, uh, what we need to do, actually, is we need to light this pipe. So, we can grab pretty much anything in this game, it seems. But what we want to do is actually grab the candle. There you go. Um, and then, you've got to align the flame with that. There you go. And there's a key in the mouth, so let's drop this, which is, uh, which button's that? F? No. There you go. Middle mouse click. And grab that. Alright. Now, I don't remember this bit too well. Uh, I don't know if we go straight ahead or, or to the left. Let's go to the left. Kind of curious now. Really see too much in there. Definitely can't get through. Oh, I don't know, maybe if I try hard enough. This game is so full of bugs, I wouldn't be surprised if I could walk through a few walls. Right, let's go around here. <laughs> yeah, knock that pile out of the way, I guess. Also, it sounds like some of the sounds clip occasionally. And I don't think it's my computer this time. I, I don't know, it's just like when the sounds reset, you hear a bit of a pop. Yeah, like, there you go. You may have just heard that. <laughs> I'm trying not to kick things over. I swear. Right. Very nice. Very nice. I don't think the cobwebs are helping too much, but very nice all the same. By. I'm not there anymore. And then we reach an area where we can pick up another lantern if we've lost our own. Or we can knock it into the abyss below us. Right, so it looks like we've actually got three choices here. We have to walk along these beams. Uh, if you choose the left one, that's the one we need to choose, I'm pretty sure, unless it's randomised. And there you go, what I consider to be a really cool section. Just a, a giant down there eating some bodies. Obviously, we don't want to fall down. <laughs> but I guess we did. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we did. Did we do that? Did I fall down? Did I reach the end of the beam? 
I think we do actually have to turn right. But it's so damn dark, I can't really see. Uh, no idea if I did, to be honest. There's another one. Okay, that's where it ends. And I'm back here again. I don't think I get grabbed or anything, and what the fuck? It just reset me again. This game is all over the place. With a few fixes, this could be maybe worth $5, and might be an enjoyable experience in VR. Right now, it's a bit painful to play. It's not terrible, though. Not completely. Right, so... Over here. Maybe I was touching the uh, the big guys with the lantern. What the fuck? Again? Uh, see, this actually didn't happen last time. I'm fairly sure it shouldn't be happening. What the fuck is going on? Right, let's just do this quickly. Oh, God, what? Tell you what. Is it the lantern? Maybe I should... Let's swap these lanterns, shall we? There you go. I'll drop that one. I'll pick that one up. Still a shitty light source. There you go. I'm hopping over them. Or at least I should be. I don't think their hand reaches up and grabs me or anything like that. There you go. Alright, quickly now, quickly. I think there's a another couple to my left. Sort of asleep. You can see them there. Some crew... Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, I've actually played this bit before, that still surprised me. There's some good bits of this game. But they're like needles in a haystack of bad. The road to Hades is paved with issues, it seems. Anyway, let's go up here. Right. Okay, uh, I think at the moment we have to follow the girl and the bloodstain, so let's do that. Round to the left here? Yes. Right. Don't know what caused that, but sorry. And off it goes. Now, if we go back to those cobwebs that I just saw, I think they should be gone now. Yeah, I apologise this isn't like a normal video. I would have preferred to do a blind playthrough like I usually do, but, uh, well, I kind of did, but it crashed five minutes into it, and then I think my computer froze, so, yeah, that wasn't going to happen. I just felt like I needed to show you guys this. Yeah! Okay, just round here. It's so dark, I'm really going off a feel at this point, but uh, I think we go around here. And there's a lot of dead ends, basically. It's a, not really a maze as such, but there's a lot of um, points where you just have to turn back on yourself. Right, okay. So we're actually at the bottom of a well. What we need to do now is just get out, so... Up we go? Yeah. <laughs> so weird. You tilt your head up and down fast enough, you can actually see that... Uh, the hand's not really grabbing anything. It's a bit of a weird look though, right? I mean, the arms aren't actually meant to be placed here in VR mode because you can move them around, but in desktop, it's uh, it's like I'm preparing to pounce on something. Kind of reminds me of, I don't know, maybe Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines? Something like that? Anyway, here we are. We've made it outside. And I, I guess this is like another chapter. I think this is where one of the checkpoints is in the game. Um, right, so we just have to... Ignore the rather weird textures down there. And the rocks over here that don't seem to have a backside. And we need to go this way. So I'm trying to determine exactly, you know, which part of Asia this is based on. And I think it maybe takes elements from from several countries. I think there's maybe some Indonesian stuff that we may have seen in Dreadout, and there's some Thai stuff that we may have seen in, like, Aria or, uh, or other games. Home Sweet Home, for instance. This is unfortunately one of those games where all the good stuff is shown in the trailer. 
this being one of them. <laughs> Little bit abrupt. No mask to pull off this time, we just have to accept our fate, and... We go to another... Another level? Yep. Brilliant, okay. Okay, cool. It didn't crash. I, uh, I got to this point twice before and it crashed. It didn't crash this time. Um, okay. So, we're kind of trapped in a basement room right now. What we need to do is go up here. Can't actually drag this out of the way. Can't grab it with either of the four buttons that we, uh, we have at our disposal. But what we can do is we can pull the lids off of these boxes, these, like, coffins, I guess. So, let's get that out of the way. There you go. Now, if I... I don't know, let's say I go over here. Does that work? No. Maybe I need to have a look at that door over there. Can't get this open, unfortunately. Right. No idea how that happened, but the body's gone. And I walked up the ladder, so thank you very much. A little bit startling, admittedly. Especially in VR. I can imagine some of these some of these scares would be really quite visceral in uh, in VR. It's a shame I've only got a DK1, because I would like to give this a go with the uh, the rift. Anyway, our faceless friend is over there. Let's ignore him. Right, there's actually someone taking a bath in here. It's uh, it's like a wooden mannequin. I don't think it's meant to look like a wooden mannequin, though. I think it's meant to be a person. Right. Yeah, let's go down here. See, I mean, some of this game looks okay. A lot of this isn't like a Unity asset flip or anything like that, which is really quite nice. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a shame about the rest of it, really. Anyway, this, uh, this poor woman needs something. She needs a couple of things, actually. Her eyes. We need to go find her eyes. Now, where was it? Was it somewhere around here? I want to say. Yeah, there you go. You can get a sneak peek at the rest of the level. It's a bit of a forest over there. And there's a bit more of the building that way. Yeah. It just needs a lot of fixes. It, I don't know if it had any beta testing or whatever, but it needed more. Right, the doors are now open. And one of the eyes is actually in here. So let's really quickly grab it and then run out because the thing's on its way. The gimmick of this part is that you need to hide away from that thing. But it seems like it's a proximity thing, so even if you're on, like, another side of the wall, if you're within, like, six feet of him, he'll see you. Anyway. Oh, there you go. You have to be standing in exactly the right spot. Right, so... <laughs> yeah, that looks much better. Let's go find the other one. So... Where is that guy? I think he just roams around now. You can hear him moving around. I don't know where he is, though. Not around here. What is this, anyway? All these dead crows. What's that? No eye. No eye, so forget it, forget it. Right, before, he was just standing over there, and he actually was just stationary for the rest of the level. I don't know, maybe that was a bug, and maybe he's now moving around and more of a threat. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, actually.
See, I'm hearing the breathing, but I'm not seeing who's breathing, which I think is a bug. So yeah, just add that to the list. A nice visual treat for you. Anyway, the second of the eyes is actually in a box down here, but we can't get it open without breaking this seal on it. And what we need to do is just make sure these are all put down to the ground, so you just need to click on them all. Pretty basic, but there you go. It also shuts the lights off, it seems. Uh, where's the other one? It's around there somewhere. Did I get it? I think I got it. Oh, let's have a look. Yep, it's open, and there you go, there's the second of the eyeballs. Brilliant. Can't hear the breathing anymore, so I guess that's good. Hmm. Okay. Right, well, yeah, let's finish this section off and just return the, uh, the eyeballs. So where was it? Like this plank? So, oh, there you go. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, perfect fit. All right, out we go, and on to another level. Okay. So, you know, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of different environments, I suppose. I guess. I'm, I'm looking for positives, really. Okay, so if you've seen the trailer, this is another area that was featured in it. And there'll be no surprise to what happens if you've seen it. I believe we go left. Let's see. Did I go this way last time? I don't know. Oh yes, that's right. Yeah, I remember seeing the lantern fall. Is that actually a lantern we can use? No, I don't think so. Can we even pick it up? Oh, we can. Okay. Let's just put that down there. There is, I think, somewhere this way, a proper lantern. Strange um, sort of emblem design. I don't actually recognize it. I, I don't know. Maybe there's someone out there that can uh, help me out with that. There you go. There's the lantern. That's the one that works. That's the one we can pick up. And I think it's actually a pretty reliable light source. Yeah, there you go. It's almost like a flashlight. It's not bad. Anyway, yeah, this way. There's that breathing again. Can I see who's breathing this time? It's like it's right in front of me. In fact, I think I think it's this. This is breathing. Somehow. Check out the bell though. Right at the top. That's the mask of that faceless creature that seems to be blocking our way. Right, anyway. That's as far as we go. We need to really go that way over there. I'm saving my stamina for a reason, by the way. And that reason is I'm actually getting chased. Right now. I wish there was more to this, really. It's, uh, it's maybe shocking, but we're nearing the end already. I can see something on the other... Oh yeah, okay. Alright, we actually just have to walk into the door to open this one, it seems. But there you go. I mean, this is a screenshot, it looks great. I would like to see this, or something very similar to this, in another game. Right, anyway, we're not getting chased anymore, no more danger. Ah, didn't actually look in here before. Can we do that? Let's see. Anything worth seeing? Nice folding screen over there. Alright.
There you go. Don't know exactly how her hand ended up there, considering the way she fell, but there you go. With a butterfly tattoo on her hand, much like I've got on my right hand. So yeah, that's that's me. Anyway, not long to go now. Get your coins ready, because we're going on a boat ride. Maybe it's a good thing that facecam isn't getting recorded this time, because I bet I look so glum right now. I probably sound so glum. I apologize if that's the case. But, you know, going through this game for the umpteenth time and having it crash on me, the bugs, the glitches, and freezing my computer, it's... I don't have the best relationship with it. And I'm debating whether to title this as Terrible Indie Horror Game. I might. I'm not sure yet. Again, really nice visuals. It's like this game is full of good ideas, but really poor execution. We're very close now. Very close indeed. All we have to do is get through a forest. And I think there's actually a lantern over there we can use. Okay, yep, yeah, we can move now. Brilliant. Out we go. And let's grab this. Right, so... Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that on the video, but there is a... Uh, a a very large silhouette coming towards me now. Reminds me a little bit of uh, a game I've played before. But I don't want to spoil it, just in case. <laughs> so I'm not going to say what it is, but uh, yeah. Basically the key is to always hold down shift so you can sprint as much as possible. And stay away from the giant silhouettes that walk towards you. There's another one over there. Right. There are various markings and graves and stuff. I think if we just walk between them, we should be okay, really. Awfully difficult to see these things, really, with the um, brightness. Okay, so just over there. You can actually see the place we're heading to. It's just over there. It's not far away at all. Oh, a little bit more, a little bit more. Let's go over there, you can see one. You can see another one there. With some light, for some reason. Okay, come on. A little bit more. If I turn around, I'm sure I'm getting followed by like, three or four of them now. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, Looks like we've made it. So there you go, this is the temple. This is the end of the line, actually. And that's the end of that. That is the end of the road to Hades, which cost me ten pounds. Uh, I'm a sucker for Asian culture and ghosts and the you know mythology and stuff like that. But yeah, this is um, it's not great. It's not great. It's a, it's a real shame because I think there's some good ideas here that could be fleshed out and maybe given to another studio they could do a lot better with it. So yeah. Bit of a weird video, not really a, a walkthrough, not a review, not a blind playthrough or anything. But if I was you, I would avoid this game until there's a lot of bug fixes and the price comes down considerably. Thanks for watching, see you next time.